Pattern layers are versatile for a number of workflows. In this video, I'll show you more of an artistic use for them. But if you are interested in architecture workflows, such as plan and diagram texturing, there is a separate tutorial which covers that use case. To begin, I'll go to File, New, and create an empty 4K document. Then, I'll go to Layer, New Pattern Layer. I'm prompted to enter the pattern layer dimensions here. You can use any resolution, but be aware that smaller resolutions will look blurry if they are scaled up. With this in mind, I'll go for 1024 by 1024. Nothing happens straight away, but then if I select a brush tool, I'll see a faint bounding box in the middle of the document. This is the base pattern layer that I can paint into, and so if I increase my brush width and paint a basic round nozzle into the pattern layer bounds, we can see that this repeats infinitely across the whole document. I can then use V to switch to the Move tool and start manipulating the pattern layer. So I might scale it down and rotate it 45 degrees. I can also click drag to move it around, which will alter the position of the repeated copies. I could then select the Arrays Brush tool, go to the Brushes panel, and choose a textured brush, then erase away from an area of the brush stroke, and this edit will also be reflected on the repeated copies. Here's a more advanced example. I'll delete this pattern layer and create a new one. Then switch to the Paintbrush tool, and this time I'm going to enable Symmetry on the Context toolbar, and increase it to three lines of Symmetry. I'll also enable the Stabilizer, and leave it set to Rope Mode. Then I'll change across to the Oils category, and pick this brush here. Then I'll just click-drag and draw out a basic abstract brush stroke that will become mirrored. I'm also able to preview what this design looks like when repeated across the whole document. I could also undo this with Command Z on Mac, Control Z on Windows, and experiment with overlapping the brush strokes by continuing to paint outside the bounds of the pattern layer. As shown before, I can switch to the Move tool and transform the pattern layer, such as scaling it down and rotating it left. A pattern layer essentially behaves like a raster pixel layer, so you can apply layer effects to it, mask it, and perform other layer-based operations on it. For example, I'll go to Window, Quick Effects, which will open the Quick Effects panel on the right, and let me apply various layer effects. I might enable Color Overlay, and recolor the pattern layer with a dark blue, for example. Or, alternatively, I could enable Outer Shadow, drag Radius all the way up, then use the Offset tool, and drag on the document to determine the offset and angle of the drop shadow effect. Again, we'll see this render infinitely across the whole document. I can easily go back to the Move tool and transform the pattern layer again with this Outer Shadow effect applied. Pattern layers can also be created from existing image and pixel layers. To demonstrate the versatility of this, I'll open up this billboard mock-up document. Then, I'll click-drag this vector pattern JPEG in, and release the mouse button over the top toolbar to open it as a separate document. Now, I'll go to Layer, New Pattern Layer from Selection. This creates a pattern layer from the layer we just had selected. I'll switch to the Move tool, and scale it down. Then I'll copy it with Command C on Mac, Control C on Windows, move across to the billboard document and paste it in with Command V on Mac, Control V on Windows. I now want to restrict the pattern layer to the billboard, which I will do with a vector shape and a non destructive perspective transform. First, I'll hide the pattern layer. Then I'll select the rectangle tool from the Tools panel, and I'll draw out a basic rectangle 
roughly the same shape as the billboard. I'll then select and show the pattern layer, then click drag it, and release the mouse button over the text of the rectangle layer. This clips the pattern layer inside the rectangle. Now I can select the rectangle layer and go to Layer, New Live Filter Layer, Distort, Perspective. This performs a non destructive perspective transform. So I just need to line up the four corners of the perspective quad with the billboard. Once I've done that, I can close the Live Perspective dialog, then select the pattern layer. With the Move tool, I'm now free to transform this pattern layer however I want. Finally, I could also use the same creative brushwork techniques I demonstrated earlier. I'll use the Erase Brush tool, switch to a soft, round brush, and erase away this entire design. Then, I'll switch to the Paintbrush tool, and I still have that oil brush selected that I was using previously. So once again, I'll enable symmetry. Make sure the stabilizer is on. Then paint in my abstract pattern. Then I can switch back to the move tool so I can transform the pattern layer until I'm happy with the design. So there we go. That was a look at pattern layers in Affinity Photo and how they can be used to create repeating patterns from scratch or from existing pixel information. Thank you for watching.